Hello everyone, welcome to this first tutorial on Figma. Figma is a website and app that allows you to make really great interactive designs. Uh, it's similar to Canva, but it is actually interactive. You can share your projects with teams and they actually bought, uh, they were just bought out by Adobe for about $20 billion. So they're gonna soon be part of the Adobe family pretty soon. Um, but for now, it's basically a website and an app, and we're going to use it to build a prototype of an app in this class. So the first thing I want you to do is go to figma.com. You don't need to worry about that stuff there, just figma.com. And then go to get started. Uh, you can log in with a personal or Texas State account. Um, I've already got an account, so I'm just going to go ahead and continue with Google. And I can log in with my Gmail account, and you can do that as well. Once you're logged in, you will see this kind of dashboard where you can do all kinds of things. Um, you'll see lots of different projects I've worked on here. And what I want you to do is click on new design file. Once you get into the login here and you've created a new file, uh, we now are have basically a basic empty canvas for us to start adding screens to. Frames are what Figma uses to talk about screens. So if you maybe wanted to make a login screen for your app, uh, it would actually be called a frame. With gestures, you can jump from frame to frame and we'll see kind of how this plays out. But the first thing we need to do is create a new frame, okay? So make sure you click on this grid up here and click frame. And then on the right, you're gonna get some options as to what size of frame that you're gonna use. And so if you wanted to use like uh, the sign of a iPhone 13 mini, that is the dimensions of an iPhone 13 mini. I just deleted it. I can go up here and add another frame and I might do like a tablet. Uh, let's do an iPad Pro 11 inch. That's a, you get a lot more real estate here. You can go wider with it. And um, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a pretty basic uh, iPhone 11. You can use any size you want. Um, I obviously probably recommend getting something like an iPhone 14. Um, just for the purpose of this tutorial, I'll do an iPhone 11, why not? So now I've got my frame up here. Uh, with these dimensions, I can then go ahead and click on the frame and on the right, you'll see all kinds of different options within that frame. So I could change something like the background. If I didn't want the background to be white, I could change it here to be a red color, a deep red. Click here and you can make a grid. They have like these little grid pieces here so you can kind of line things up properly um, and all kinds of other, other things. The first thing I want to do though is teach you how to add text, okay? Text is a ma massive part of any frame that you might see. And so you're just gonna press this T button and I'm gonna draw a text box here. And I can write the word welcome. I can welcome people to my app. And then over here on the right is where I get some more options and properties within that text. So I'm gonna go here and maybe I'll change the font size from 12 to something like 56 make it a lot larger. I can also take that and instead of regular, I can make it bold so I know that they see it. I can also center it using these center tools. Um, and then you can align, if I wanted to align the text to the middle of the text box, it can, you can see that now it's in the center of the text box vertically. Um, or you could align it to the top or the bottom, but I'll just leave that there. Um, I could also take this text and add a stroke, which would basically add like a line, a black line really thin around all of it. Uh, other things like effects, you could add drop shadows and, and other things like that. So there's a lot you can do within the text. And so every single frame that you're gonna create will have some kind of text on it. You'll notice that when I added this text box, it on the left, you'll see that it kind of became what's called a child to the parent frame, which is iPhone 11, okay? So basically, we know that this text box goes inside of this frame. Um, and so you're gonna wanna just beware on, on the left side of here that making sure that these anything that we add to our frame is a part of that frame and not outside of it. So one example of this is like if I wanted to make a rectangle, just go ahead and press the word re the rectangle here and I could draw a box outside of my frame. And now you can see it's it's separate. It's like a sibling rather than a child. Uh, okay, so it's it's next to it, it's not inside of it. But if I did want this rectangle to be considered a part of the frame itself, I could either drag it into the frame, you can see now it moved inside of there, 
or I can drag it from here itself that way, okay? So um, just make sure that anything you add to this particular frame belongs to this, this frame. So I can take that text box. The reason that my text now is hidden is because it's behind the rectangle one. So this shows priority. If I wanna take this welcome and drag it up, now you can see it again because it's in front. Okay, so just be aware of that. Um, anything that you add, you can rearrange over here on the left. Just make sure that they're under the umbrella of the frame that you're working in. I can also take this and change its fill color, maybe make it white and make this text black. Um, you know, however you might want your app to look. And then um, not only can you add shapes like this, I could also add different shapes like arrows, polygons, star, I could just go ahead and add a star up here. Um, and then I can change the curvature of that star. And so it gives you all those options over here on the right. Um, <clears throat> and I can change the color of it, uh, maybe to like a deeper blue or something like that. Um, and so just a very basic, you know, shape, box, star, text. Um, and then you could also add pictures, okay? So up here in the um, object toolbar, I can go down here, place an image, okay? When I find an image maybe that I've downloaded or found or took, I can now take that image and draw it out down here. And, um, you know, maybe I wanna add a little pug to this, maybe this is a, um, a, a a pet name generator app where they could type in some attributes about the dog and then they press enter and it populates a name for them. Uh, all kinds of different uses for apps out there. So this is a pretty basic you know, layout for an app. Uh, in the next tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create more frames and then um, gesturing where you can tap or swipe or somehow get from frame to frame, okay? So this is just a basic uh, tutorial on adding shapes, text, and pictures to your frames.